Galaxy S22 Ultra brought a lot of excitement to the smartphone world, and the hype doesn't seem to be dwindling down in the least for the time being. The demand for the S22 is way higher than Samsung initially anticipated and hence, they are increasing the production capacity by 20%. The S22 Ultra brings a lot of new improvements, and the biggest one even your dog going to notice is in the camera. You see in modern smartphones the image quality depends more on the optimization or AI than the actual hardware itself. I mean when Samsung introduced the S20 Ultra a couple of years ago, Everyone wrote off its 100x space zoom as a gimmick which I totally agree with. The images actually look like oil paintings. Things didn't change much with the S21 Ultra either but now, with the S22 Ultra, we're seeing a day and night difference in quality to a point where it doesn't feel like these phones are a year apart, but a few generations apart. The 100x magnification is actually useful, and doesn't look like an oil painting anymore. And not just 100x, the other zoom levels, have also seen a massive improvement. Ice Universe says the 20x zoom on the S22 Ultra, is as clear as the 10x zoom on the S21 Ultra. With a side-by-side -side comparison, it's crazy how big of a difference we see between the two devices at 20x zoom. Here's the image sample at 30x zoom between the S20 Ultra, S21 Ultra, and the S22 Ultra, and you can see how far they have come in just two years. And not just the zoom, the overall camera including the night photography, portrait photography, video and more has seen a massive improvement as well. I mean take a look at the edge detection here, and this beautiful night photo where it actually looks like it's night with a black sky and lots of details in the subject. Safe to say Samsung sits right at the top when it comes to cameras far above the iPhones and the pixels of the world. With that said, here's some good for the S22 buyers. You see the new chipsets are built on a 4 nanometers process and they are, but that also means they generate a lot of heat. To counteract this Samsung made a new cooling system where they increased the area that the vapor chamber covers, improved the heat transfer, and also used another graphite sheet. And it looks like the new tech is actually working. Tom from Tech Chap made a video with his Exynos 2200 variant, where after putting the S22 Ultra through benchmarks, it actually runs cooler than the S21 Ultra. Not only that the sustained performance of the Exynos 2200 is way better than the Exynos 2100 on the S21 Ultra which is great news for European users. That was one of the biggest drawbacks of Exynos chipsets in the past, but thankfully the new AMD graphics doesn't seem to have that problem. We don't have any video comparing the Exynos and Snapdragon variants of the S22 Ultra side by side so we still don't know how they stack up with each other, but rest assured, I'll keep you posted so do consider subscribing for that, and as always I'll see you tomorrow. Till then take care.